If you are concerned about over-communicating with your recipients, the new mode prioritization feature is for you. For emergency messages, you can rest assured that your call, email, or text will be sent to all available contact points to ensure recipients are reached quickly and by whatever means possible. But for a standard outreach message, if you create phone, email, and text message content, your recipients could be receiving the information on two phone numbers, four email addresses, and four text numbers. It's easy for recipients to feel a bit of information overload, especially for everyday reminders. Over time, recipients may begin to lose interest in the messages sent by your institution if every announcement comes through so many different ways. You risk losing effectiveness with over-communication. But with mode prioritization, you can determine which modality takes precedence and limit everyone to one or two modalities. This feature does require activation, so if you are interested, please contact Client Care. Here's how it works. Say you're sending a reminder about the next board meeting. If you want the message to go out as a regular outreach to all selected recipients via all available modalities, simply proceed as usual. But if you want to engage mode prioritization for this message, check this box. A blue edit link will appear because on a message-by-message -message basis, you can change which modality takes top priority. The default setting is for email to be priority one, text message to be priority two, and phone to be priority three. That means everyone who has an email address loaded into Connect 5 will receive the message only via email. If someone doesn't have an email address, then they will get it via text message. Only if they have neither an email nor a text number will they receive a phone call. You can change the priority for the message you are currently sending on this pop-up. You can even have two modes at one priority level. For instance, maybe I want email and text to be priority one and phone to be priority two. Then, if someone has both a text number and an email address, the message will be sent to both. Only if they don't have either an SMS number or an email will they get a phone call. When you click Next to confirm your message, the Mode Prioritization section will indicate via icons which modality or modalities have been prioritized. Also, when viewing the delivery results, you can see that mode prioritization was used. In this example, although I sent a message to 471 people, only 49 phone calls went out because everyone else got it via email or text, which were the number one and number two priorities. Note that mode prioritization affects which modalities are sent, not the number of contact points per modality. For example, if email is priority one and a contact has three emails loaded, they will still receive the message at all three email addresses, but they will not also receive it via text and phone.